digital literacy has two main elements. and one element is technical, the ability to use the technologies of digital media and the second aspect um is psychological. um it's being able to find assess and evaluate um information um and people that you find using digital technologies or or online putting these two together, the technical and psychological, we could say that um digital literacy is the ability um to use technology um to find people, ideas and information online and then to evaluate evaluate that information ah those information sources ah the ideas and the resources that you find um and that's that's really um two strands or themes um a technical strand um which involves using the tools, the technology um the tweeting, setting up a blog um using twitter to find ah and share with with people and a second strand the psychological which involves sifting knowledge ah sourcing resources and assessing um and sorting the vast amount of information ah that comes in um over the internet, over social media um over the tools that you use. It involves finding that information and adapting it to your own needs. Um because of the amount of information that's available online, a large part of digital literacy is psychological um is to do with using digital tools well uh, to help us source good information and good information sources quickly. Um in this introduction in this social media toolkit we'll be focusing on how we use twitter and how we use blogs to find and manage information uh, and resources. Uh we focus on twitter and we focus on blogs for several reasons uh, because they are free they are popular and they form the basis of the course uh, we have designed for you in educational technology. Uh most of the course will probably take place between participants um over twitter and over blogs. Um social media are based on the idea of sharing uh, and this MOOC is based on the idea of sharing over social media. um sharing resources ideas and experiences and a critical aspect of digital literacy is being able to find people who share good stuff and being a person who also shares good stuff um additionally many educators already use twitter and blogs for finding reflecting um sharing and creating resources uh and they have a a good level of a, a good ability um uh, with these tools and how a good ability with these tools lets you become part of that community um something that's probably potentially uh much more valuable in the long run uh than just uh, this course um using twitter and blogging well and having a good level of technical and pedagogical skill with them um uh, is key uh, to getting what you want uh, from this MOOC the more familiar you are, you are with uh, these tools and the faster and the quicker and the more efficient is your ability to sort and sift all of that information that will be flowing in from people and from the internet and from journals and all sorts of things and um, you'll begin to find as you begin to use these tools more efficiently social media twitter and blogging that the network of people of places of sites and of software that you use to help you find and source information uh, is getting better and better and better these sources social media your peer network are feeding you better quality ideas better quality information and resources and sharing sharper and more useful insights and the more you learn 
to be careful with who you add to that network the better that process becomes and that's a big part of digital literacy digital literacy involves being proficient with using digital tools it involves being proficient with assessing sources of information that you find online it also involves being proficient at sourcing and evaluating people and let's take an example a more conventional example in a library say a research library or a university library and it's key to learn how to use the tools of the library the card catalogs the indexes the call numbers and the microfiche catalogs which I never learned to use but it's also key to learn how to use the people to find the information that you want and to know and learn who to ask more question knowing which librarian to ask about where to find information about Flemish spoon carving wooden spoon carving in the 1350s can save you an absolutely huge amount of information sorry a huge amount of time spent trawling through archives looking for information looking for authors knowing who to follow share and take from on Twitter can save you days and days of searching through Google and blogs and journals and YouTubes and tweets and all sorts of things identifying the person and the people that can give you good high quality information that you can use is key a very very good librarian will remember your love of Flemish spoon carving in the mid 1300s and when you walk back through the door of the library the, they'll have the stack of references waiting for you of books or of authors or index numbers or call numbers or whatever it is um, to do with that topic um, and that's exactly what Twitter can be like if you use it well it can be a very good librarian who is dripping links and resources and ideas into your Twitter stream for you to pick up every minute of every day. Picking the right librarian to ask is library literacy. Picking the right people on Twitter is a part of digital literacy. And both of them can open up worlds of ideas that um, on our own we may not have found by ourselves. Uh, in the toolkit we focus on digital literacy because it is key to participating um, in the type of MOOC uh, that's, that's being run. Um, the aim of the social media toolkit is to give you the theoretical and the technical tools that you will need to participate uh, fully in the MOOC. Uh, to help develop your digital literacy in the tools the MOOC will mainly use uh, it will mainly use Twitter and blogs and that's the focus of the social media toolkit uh, we hope you enjoy it uh, we hope we f you find it useful and beneficial and we hope that it really does help you both engage in the MOOC and find a community of practitioners and educators uh, and people in the same context and position that, that you're in um, to uh, to get together with and to discuss ideas with. Um, I hope you enjoy the toolkit. If at any stage you want to contact me, um, uh, my contact details are on the contact section of this blog. And if you have any questions, queries, ideas that you want to share, um, please contact me on Twitter or via my email.